The key shifts that we have noticed have been quite incredible, they've been educational, they've been phenomenal. Because look, the Daily Sun still remains South Africa's biggest daily newspaper. It's because we live in a digital age and that digital age has seen more and more readers saying we like what you're doing on your digital platform, so let's go there. So the, the readers are still engaging with the product itself, it's just that they have moved from the actual print edition to our digital properties. Citizen journalism and social media have been one of the key landmarks in, in journalism and content specifically. I mean, it's not something that we, we've just grappled with, say, two or three years back. Daily Sun itself was strengthened its reputation by citizen journalism. I mean, when Daily Sun started, people used to ask questions, why is it that there's an incident and people call the Daily Sun first and not the actual, say, your fire emergency or the police, and the Daily Sun would be first on the scene. So that's citizen journalism at its best. Obviously, we live in an age of fake news where now journalists have to be trained to say, let's separate the wheat from the chaff. What are the facts and what are facts pretending to be facts, you know, pretenders to the throne. So citizen journalism has been key over the years and that key has helped us as a news outlet, as Daily Sun. If you look at the recent award that we won at the Sukuvile Standard Bank Journalism Awards, it was an award of a video that got sent to me, then I passed on to a journalist of Radovan Kresha and Oscar Pistorius playing soccer in prison. That story went on to win an award, and it was from someone who was taking that video. So it just shows you what has happened with citizen journalism, where more and more people are not only becoming curious, but they're saying this has to be known out there, and there are credible media platforms to use for it. Video reporting is quite important to us. I mean, video reporting is, is what we, the future of video reporting, and we have, we, have, we have now started not only as Daily Sun, but as Media24 to say, you know, we live in, a, in, a, in an age of VR, which is visual reality, and AR, which is artificial intelligence, and we live in an age of bots. So how are we going to take these three aspects and then integrate them into video reporting. Video reporting, I mean, as you may know, video takes a lot of data. And in South Africa, in terms of the infrastructure, we still a long way to go in terms of having affordable data. That's why the, the next battle for any credible media company would be, we need to fight for zero rating of this data. That's why the networks will have to say to them, guys, look, you need these people. We as the media company, we also need them. So this is where content comes from. So video content is quite key. That's why as a media outlet, we are not saying the next newspaper is our competitor. Our next competitor really is Facebook, because what Facebook is doing with video is exactly what we do. When Facebook say is now, we are now doing Facebook Live, we as Daily Sun needs to say on this platform, on Facebook, we need to like, we use this, we need to use this aspect to its full advantage. If we say we're going to a press conference, that press conference cannot wait for the actual edition the next day. It's video content, it's happening now, report it now as it happens, go online with it, the actual story can come 18 hours later. So that's how important video content is.